Okay, here we go again. This is my uh, iron oxide tutorial number five. This is the last one for a while. Okay, this is the steel wool pads, iron wool, whatever you want to call it. There's a big coarse one for conductivity, and a small one in the center will convert to hydroxides faster than uh, the large one will. This is the one I just pressed at uh, eight tons of pressure. With what you just looked at, I wadded it up, put it in a machine with a wire in it, and uh, spiral wire, and uh, made a uh, 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 FE uh, negative electrode. Here's the other one. I'm making two. I'm putting two iron, which is half the size of the nickel. And it's just from feeding the wire through in the loop. We got a good contact area. It's got about four to six inches of wire in it. I'm not exactly sure. It's got three loops in it. Okay, this is the bottom of the uh, press form. Notice the slot with the wire in it. This is the bottom. You put it in from the bottom and you press it from the top. Just another view of it. This is the, with the cap and the little square steel block to press press it down tight. This whole thing go down to a quarter of an inch. That's just in the press. That's being pressed. That is the press. Okay, now here's the two of them. The one on the right is already wrapped in a fiberglass, I mean a glass, uh, glass uh, cloth. Do the same thing with the one on the left. I'll do the one on the, also with the nickel. Okay, here it is. Finished. It's a fiberglass screen with a PVC on it uh, as a separator. Okay, this is the unit put together with a nickel in the center and an iron on each side, and uh, let them tie together at the top, and I put some uh, straps on them to hold them tight. Okay, this is what it looks like before I put fluid in it. This is in a vacuum chamber. I pull it down to uh, about a 10E2 maybe 10E3 and if you notice you see bubbles coming out of it what I'm doing is porous plates or uh, I'm let, pulling all the air out of them then uh, when I put the atmospheric pressure back on it I'll have about 14 pounds of pressure that will push the electrolyte which this here happens to be a sodium hydroxide because I don't have any potassium it'll work it won't work as good but it'll work this is the static voltage it had on it before I put a charge on it 0.173 volts and this is the charge after 30 minutes with the power off and it's 1.34 volts. So it's coming up. It don't have any current yet. Well, actually, I put up that little light bulb you see in the background. It's a 250 milliamp, 1.2 volt. It lights it right up now without the uh, charger being on it, but not for long. But anyway, that's it for a while. And also, everybody be careful. These chemicals are dangerous, and they're uh, the, uh, uh, nickel's toxic. So just be careful. I'm not guaranteeing this to be a perfect battery. This is just a uh, this is just food for thought. I'm working on a battery now that you can convert a five gallon bucket into about a 700 amp battery. And uh, it went for five to 700 amp. And you can probably build it for 100 bucks or less per sale. So you're looking at a thousand bucks to build a, a, you know, a several hundred amp system. But I'm not going to post that on here. I'm going to do some CDs. If somebody can, uh, you know, just email me. It's uh, Ed's Workshop, spelled just like that, at gmail.com. If you're interested in the CDs, I'm gonna run some up on my. I'm, I'm working on my, uh, my other project now. I'm gonna sell some CDs cheap, so I can afford to keep doing research. And I think we can all get together and uh, check out the CD, get some stuff together, have a material list on it. We'll, uh, we'll we'll build some large battery banks. Just imagine if you had a 35 gallon plastic barrel, you could build a battery. It was probably 4,000 amps. And but anyway, uh, I used to be off grid. Now back in the city now, I've lived off grid for over 12 years had a 100 amp solar panel and 5,500 amps of batteries and it was wonderful. Folks, have a good year. Uh, I'll be posting something. I don't know quite soon, but uh, just uh, email me and let me know what's happening. Thank you now.